probably not the safest area to be. I did find and wear a uh, hard hat, so, you know, I took some precautions. This is KP Watershed. You are watching KP Watershed on the YouTube. It's the KP Watershed channel, or it's nothing at all. And I think you should click subscribe. Hey YouTube, it is Tuesday here in China, day three. In Shanghai, it's Monday back over in New York. It's about 5 a.m. I just had what I guess I'd call my second adventure here. I uh, just went exploring in some parts of this hotel where I probably was not supposed to be. Actually, I know I wasn't supposed to be there. Um, this hotel, the Royal Meridian, is about 75 stories tall. It's a skyscraper, and the rooms go up to the 63rd floor. And floors 64, 65, 66 are going to be a club lounge eventually. Right now it's just under construction. So I managed to climb my way up there and go exploring a bit and then climb a few stores higher on stairs and ladders that probably should not have been used, especially in the dark like this. It's uh, it's just barely 5 a.m. over here, so well, while I was up there it was just barely 4.30. Um, it, it was a fun time. Um, <laughs> and didn't get caught, didn't get thrown to the dungeon, so I guess I can't complain. What had happened was, I was at the gym, you know, my, my, my body clock is still adjusting, I'm still waking up really early, I woke up around 3 a.m., went to the gym, finished up there around 4, and then got in the wrong elevator, so like there's different sets of elevators here. My room is on the 25th floor, so I'm supposed to get in the elevator that goes from floors 20 to 30. Accidentally got in the one that goes from 30 to 44, I guess, and to my surprise, it, it actually let me go up to the 40th floor. Maybe somebody had pushed the button up there. So I went up there, then couldn't get any further, right, because my key card doesn't work up there for anything, but went into one of the stairwells and then was able to walk up to 63. Then I hit a barrier, which I had to climb over. That got me up to 64, and that was that under construction area, which had some phenomenal views of Shanghai, you know, full pane wall windows. I wish I had the camera there. I didn't really know that that's what was going to happen when I started walking up the stairs. And of course, I didn't bring the camera to the gym. But um, I'll try to go back. You know what? Let's cut straight to that. Let's cut to the future. This is day three, but let's assume that towards the end of this week, I'm going to make my way back over to this uh, top, top, top part of the hotel with you all to see it as well. So. Let's cut to that. See you in the future.
and it sounds like there's people up there working. So, I don't know if this is gonna work. <sighs> yeah, you can hear, there's a lot of people up there. But, um, damn. Well, I mean, you get the idea. I guess let's see if there's another staircase. All right, so unfortunately, it looks like we're not gonna be able to get up to the 70th floor today. The uh, construction guys are already up there working, so sorry that you don't get to see up there. It is pretty tight if you're here uh, and feel like going on an adventure outside of working hours. It's worth trekking up there and climbing over that barrier. Um, if there's time to do it before I head back to the USA, you know, maybe we'll try again. If not, the last thing that I'm going to say in this video is this. Some good news, uh, depending on how you look at it. Found another staircase and the bottom of the service elevator. So let's go.